Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on what is happening across the Caribbean. And so I hope that your day has been going really great thus far. So we'll be taking a look at uh, different conditions across the region in terms of the current satellite imagery, also the expected rainfall, and we'll also be delving into those strong winds that have been occurring across sections of the basin. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, so let's go ahead and get kickstarted with this satellite imagery of the Atlantic here and we can see that there is quite a bit of activity going on in the open uh, North Atlantic uh, contrasting what is happening in the Caribbean and also the Gulf of Mexico where we don't see too much activity taking place. So there are a few troughs here and there and within those areas is where we would find most of that shower and thunderstorm activity taking place. But of course we're focusing on the Caribbean so let's zoom in on visible satellite imagery here and we can see that uh, we definitely have some activity noted especially in the vicinity of Honduras and Nicaragua right there where we have those clouds moving uh, through from the east and we also see some activity extended into parts of Guatemala, Belize and also over into Mexico but as for the rest of the region we're not seeing any uh, spots of major concern in terms of that very heavy rainfall so we're not seeing any of that right now and for the most part things are pretty much windy across the region so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this map here so this is depicting uh, the wind direction and also the Different colors depict uh, how strong the wind is and so uh, we're seeing here that where we have more of those yellowish uh, peach is shade uh, shades that is the areas of the stronger winds and where we have the stronger winds is also where we're going to be having those significant waves and those very rough seas and I should make mention that uh, for some areas for example for parts of northern Jamaica that is where we would find the stronger winds uh, compared to the rest of the island because it's sort of, it's sort of act as a buffer so uh, th those very strong winds are not being felt along the southern coast of the country and that is all uh, as a result of the wind direction and so uh, that is the reason it is the northern sections of the different islands here that are experiencing those uh, strong winds and so let's go ahead and now look at the waves and so in terms of all this where we have those pink and purple shades that is where the waves are at their most significant in the basin so just off Colombia and the reason for this is because there are two different pressure systems interacting with each other so we have a high pressure system up to the north and a low pressure system in the vicinity of Colombia in association with the itch or the intertropical convergence zone so as a result of the interaction of those pressure systems of course winds move from a region of high to low pressure and that explains the wind direction in the Caribbean coming out from the northeast so uh, that is the explanation behind it I hope that was transparent for you guys to understand but the whole essence is that yes there are those stronger winds as well as those significant wave heights occurring in parts of the Caribbean and so next we want to go ahead and take a look at how much rainfall is expected so this is the total accumulated precipitation in inches and this is between now and uh later on friday and so we're seeing here that again over to the right side of your screen that's your key with the different colors and values beside them to know how much rainfall each of those different colors is representing so we see that in the caribbean air is expected to receive the most rainfall between now and friday is uh the caribbean coast of the central american territories mainly nicaragua and also going down to costa rica and panama so those areas Areas. and also we see some of those blue shades in the vicinity of Belize and just uh, near the coast of Gua uh, Guatemala, the Caribbean coast of Guatemala. So uh, we can definitely see here that not much rainfall is expected for some areas including parts of Hispaniola and also Cuba. And also remember guys, this is a total accumulated precipitation map. So it's what is expected in all between now and Friday. So it doesn't mean that there will be over an inch of rainfall falling for some areas just in the space of one day. It's something gradual that is expected to happen. So that is what is happening in terms of the 
the rainfall and what is expected. And then we're going to be moving on now to uh, the temperature anomaly map from the GFS. And so uh, this is, of course, today what is expected for later today. And we have the blues or the cooler colors that represent uh, below normal temperatures. We have the different values showing how much below normal each color is representing. So we see that uh, sections of the Caribbean, mainly the Eastern Caribbean, we see those blues indicated maybe a degree or so drop in temperature as we're going to be heading into tonight. Nothing very major, but as we're going to be heading to this weekend, of course, all that is going to be clearing up and there are going to be typical conditions seen in terms of or felt rather in terms of the temperature. And then as we head to Saturday, there is going to be a cold front making its way out of the U.S., but that's not going to be strong enough to progress into the Caribbean and bring any significant impacts. Uh, but areas such as uh, the Gulf Coast and also maybe parts of the Bahamas might feel minor impacts from this front, but nothing too major is expected. And as for the Caribbean, it's just going to be pretty much uh, typical conditions for some areas, but nothing intense or major is anticipated as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of days. And so guys, that is pretty much it in terms of what is happening right now across the tropics. So again, there isn't anything major going on and uh, things are going to pretty much be like this. And even as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of weeks, uh, there isn't going to be too much in terms of rainfall activity. However, as we're going to be heading to April, going to May, June, the summer months, that is when we're going to start to see activity, uh, more shower and thunderstorm activity coupled with the hurricane season starting so uh, as we're going to be heading into the next several weeks there might be some decreased rainfall across some areas and that might result in some drought conditions which have already begun in some areas i know that here in jamaica there is such issue uh such an issue in parts of westmoreland which is one of the western parishes so uh it's best to know how to conserve on your water. So here are a few tips uh, so that you ensure that you do not uh, use your water in excess where it is not needed, guys. Because, of course, water is life. And so that is really it for right now. And again, for the Caribbean, there isn't too much happening in terms of rainfall activity. And there is that very slight temperature dip for some parts of the Eastern Caribbean, of course, nothing too major. And uh, there is also those, uh, there are also those strong winds coming out of the Northeast that is helping to induce some rough seas and that significant wave height across portions of the Caribbean. And so, of course, guys, I'm going to be keeping you updated on all that is happening across the region once it is necessary. And so that is it for right now. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.